Okay. We're going to watch Andrew Yang and Ben Shapiro. So this clip I haven't seen in a while. But, um, yeah, let's just get right into it one out of the way immediately because people think the reason you came on here was to discuss circumcision which <laughs> was not the reason you came on the show and not the reason i asked you on the show um so your position on circumcision you're anti-circumcision but you are not in favor of banning it is that correct yeah that, that's generally right i mean um okay so to back up a bit andrew yang started his circumcision journey saying intactivists were right history would prove them right well he's since then said that he thinks circumcision is a beautiful ceremony. But this is my open letter to Andrew Yang. Do you think cutting a female's genitals when they're an infant could be a beautiful ceremony? Or do you view men and women differently? I mean, um, uh, you know, I, I have two young boys and, um, you know, when the first was born, my wife dug into various, you know, reasons for circumcising your, your, your kids, and then she was unconvinced, and then she convinced me to be unconvinced, shall we say. Uh, so I wish you would elaborate more on that, because that is a very common situation to be in. One parent doesn't know much about circumcision other than a lot of people are doing it. The other parent apparently has all this knowledge about a subject that they just assumed everybody did. But they're saying that it's actually a negative thing with a lot of consequences. Andrew Yang was doing a disservice to every American by glossing over that. Um, but I've attended my, my friend's uh, uh, bris for their, their son and, you know, it's uh, up to parents um, what they want to do and certainly for any um, like a religious or cultural reason like people should should be free to, to adopt whatever they want for their children. So fine, we're cool. <laughs> ben came right in there. All right, jeez. Slow down. So, Andrew Yang, his body language, to me, you can tell he caved. You can tell he, he took on a position that is difficult to take on, but a position that is correct. And the establishment that is corrupt pushed back and made him cave. See, human rights, you can say a human deserves something like the right to own their body, but pressure can be applied and people can roll back some of the things that they believe or some of the things that they project that they believe in the terms of the way that politicians live their lives. So let's see what Ben has to say. <laughs> because, uh, you know, there, there's some, the, the medical evidence is at best conflicting. Sometimes it's trendy, sometimes it's not. There's talk about, you know, your, the prevention of penile cancer, or urinary tract infection and stuff. But, you know, the fact is that as long as you're not looking to ban it, I don't. So let's talk more about that. Penis cancer is rare. A man is more likely to get cancer of the breast than cancer of the penis. Um... UTIs, look, the difference that an intact male versus a circumcised male, the difference that they get in UTIs would be comical if circumcision wasn't such a barbaric, horrendous thing being inflicted against men. But UTIs, it's, circumcision does not prevent UTIs. Infant girls are more likely to get a UTI, and we give them an antibiotic t t to treat it. We wouldn't even think of a surgical vaccine, which does not make any sense, to amputate tissue ahead of a disease. Amputation is the last resort. 
that as long as you're not looking to ban it, I don't care, right? Your perspective on it is your perspective, fine. <laughs> and I have to say, how taken aback I was at what a thing it became. Uh, I mean, you might be a stupid decision, so that's a thing, right? I mean, this is the stupidity of the internet. No one will ask you that because the stupidity of the internet is truly astonishing. If you look at your candidacy online and you look how the media cover it, they cover it not as just a mainstream candidacy of ideas, but as something weird and curious because you have a lot of particularly young white men who follow you online, and because you speak about the middle of the country that largely has black people, 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 black